and the body. Today I'd like to discuss a little boxing. Now in the 50s, 40s, there were uh, boxing clubs in New York, small arenas where uh, young boxers or old, older boxers would, uh, would fight. And the famous fighters fighting there were few and far in between. But one night, uh, the ninth ranking middleweight uh, fought at the uh, Ridgewood Grove. And he was uh, Joey Giardello. Uh, Joey, when he got into the ring, he was like 22 or something like that. Got into the ring was certainly looked the role of a contender. He was young and he was muscular and he was confident and he was smiling and he made a great impression. But the fight itself was not so good. So he was not uh, a heavy puncher and he was not a great box, uh, boxer, but he, he was a decent boxer. He was sort of a rough, tough kid, you know, he wasn't a smooth fighter as how he looked. So that was it. I came home a little disappointed uh, at the fight. And um, anytime I read about Joey, I always remember that fight, so I always didn't think too highly of him. One day, to my surprise, uh, Joey Giardello became the middleweight champion of the world. So, for this video, I decided to read up on Joey and see what his story is. And Joey was indeed an, an outstanding fighter. He defeated most of the contenders, if not all of the contenders in the middleweight division, including uh, Dick Tiger, who he took the title from uh, Sugar Ray Robinson, Billy Graham, Reuben Carter, on and on. And uh, he was uh, someone who had a decent record too. He had uh, 100 wins, uh, 25 losses, and uh, 35 he won by knockout. I'm not so sure about that loss uh, figure. And uh, so he had all the credentials. And he indeed was uh, worthy of the championship. And further, I read that uh, in 1993, Joey Giazzo was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. And this was a kid I saw in a Brooklyn arena who didn't impress me all that much. But he had the goods. He was determined. He had, a, he had a vision. He had a goal. He had a strong chin. He had the ingredients. Okay. Bye-bye.